I'm Randy Linton and I'm here with Brazosport Independent School District's Chief Finance and Governmental Affairs Officer, Mr. Dan Schaefer, for our second interview in our series about the proposed 2014 BISD bond that will be on the ballot this November 4th. Hello, Dan. Hey, Randy. Well, Dan, as you know, we began our series of bond interviews last week and Dr. H answered many of the questions that folks have been asking, but now it's your turn. Since you are, Dan, the money man, Today's questions will focus on where the money comes from, how it can be spent, and so on. All right, I'm ready. Great. First couple of questions that have come up are, what exactly is a bond, and how can bond dollars be used by the school district? Well, a bond is a financing mechanism used by school districts, similar to a personal mortgage of a home. Uh, the district uses this to fund uh, capital projects, including renovations, improvements, and equipment. Are bond funds subject to the state's recapture? Fortunately, they're not. Uh, that's one of the few things that we actually have in the district that we're able to retain 100% local. So all tax dollars associated with the bond would stay here. Uh, it's one of the few things where we actually consider to have a local control from both the district and the community. It's been discussed that this proposal will not raise the tax rate. What assumptions have been made to calculate the impact? Uh, the district has uh, utilized basically a 0% growth rate with the exception of 11 projects that are ongoing with uh, Four companies, including Dow Chemical, Freeport LNG, BASF, and Phillips 66. Uh, the investments are to the tune of $11 billion. Uh, currently, we operate with $7 billion in property values, so the number is going way up. We'll be able to utilize those values to help to fund this com project completely. Uh, the Long Range Facility Planning Committee really wanted to put together a package that would allow for all, this, all these projects to be funded without a tax rate increase. Uh, we did not include uh, anything that's currently ongoing, like HEB, um, the new Dow Center uh, for the administration along with R&D, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, Starbucks, uh, the Kroger, two, two new hotels. Uh, all those things are, are occurring, but we did not include those in our calculations because we don't have information uh, to calculate. Uh, in addition, uh, from an interest rate perspective, we're using 4.25 to 6% uh, given the term of this agreement, and then there's a 23-year payback period. Why aren't we using local industry expansion to fund this proposal instead of a bond? Uh, well, essentially we are. If we're able to keep the tax, tax rate flat, this allows us to tax that new growth uh, and fund these projects. Well, a big question that we've gotten is, why did some of the schools receive repairs using 2012 bond money if they're going to be torn down and replaced? and have new campuses if the 2014 bond is passed? Yeah, that's a great question. We've uh, actually had to delay some of our projects to make sure that we don't duplicate. Um, so some of the projects have been put on hold to, until we see the outcome of the 2014. There has been some items done uh, when, when it relates to major maintenance, um, obviously in operations, safety, and then mobile equipment. So that mobile equipment can be moved to a new campus if needed. Well, wow, that's a lot of information. Let's say that folks have more questions or just want to see what the Citizens Long Range Facilities Planning Committee have proposed in the 2014 bond. Where would they find that information? Uh, the best place to get the facts for the 2014 bond referendum is to go to our website at www.brazosportisd.net and click on bond information. Thank you, Mr. Dan Schaefer, and thank all of you for taking the time to view this video on the proposed BISD 2014 bond. Our next bond interview video will be posted next week. Please join us for information how the proposed 2014 bond will impact instruction and student performance in BISD and how it will affect the workforce needs of our local industries. Thank you very much.